Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Susan Timchak, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and I am continuing with part two of my swaps from the Hartford, Connecticut on stage event that I attended. So let's not waste any more time. I still have a whole stack of cards to go through. So I hope I'm not going too quickly for you, but um, you can always stop um, the video. You can take a screenshot if there's something you like and maybe you want to recreate it or something that just inspires you to go a little further. But look at this um, cute jar made with love and some little shaker embellishments. Isn't that too cute? Sorry about the glare. But look at how cute that is. I love that. Very sweet. This one is very striking. I love the um, background colors, the happy birthday cutout with the framelits. Very cute. And here is that stamp set again. Um, the waterfront stamp set. And I, I love how she did these colors with the little mountains and put a little bit of that corduroy ribbon. You want to get that because that's in the Occasions catalog, that Father's Day stamp set. And um, it's going to be retiring, so you're going to want that. This is very beautiful. I love the daffodils. Because of you, I am me. Happy Mother's Day. Isn't that sweet? Love that basket background um, piece. Very striking. And who doesn't love butterflies? Happy birthday. May your day be as beautiful as you. This is embossed with gold and a little bit of coloring with a wash and some glitter, glimmer paper behind there. And this is going to be retiring this beautiful butterfly die along with the other ones. So um, this is done on watercolor paper. So you want to go ahead and um, get that if you are loving butterflies like I do. Oh, this is beautiful. This is embossed. And look at the coloring on there. It almost looks like she used brusho, I'm thinking, on watercolor paper. And that stamp set is going to be retiring. However, the background um, embossing folder, I believe, will be coming back. But isn't that striking? I don't even think the camera is picking it up. And how beautiful and cute is this? Unfortunately, all of this on this card is going to be retired from the paper to the stamp to this punch to the world's greatest dad. No one else could fill your shoes. And I just love these little guys. Uh, it comes with the mermaid, the unicorn. It's in the occasions catalog. So don't forget to add that to your list because there are framelits that cut that out too. Or you can use your scanning cut if you have one to cut out your designer series paper because there is paper that has all of these elements on there too. Cute. Love it. And look at this, this little keychain. I love this. It says, I love, st I love stamping. And um, let me take it out. Because I'm probably going to put this on my keychain. Be creative every day. Do something creative every day. And look at how cute that is. I'm not sure where she got that from, but... She did a great job with that. I love that. I'm going to keep that out. And another sympathy card. Very classy. Sometimes, you know, with sympathy is all you need to put on the outside. And look at that beautiful um, embossing on there. Stunning. And this cake array. Oh, my goodness. Doesn't that just look yummy? <laughs> Happy birthday. But to me, I'm seeing wedding. Oh, here we go. <laughs> And, oh, she made a full card. May your day be as wonderful as you. Happy birthday. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. And that also is in the Occasions catalog, so you'll want to get that. And how about this? Doesn't this just scream? Oh, I don't know if you're hearing that, but I think that is a motorcycle going down the road. Sorry. It's very loud. Um, this is Screaming Summer, and I am ready for it. Um, this stamp set is going to be retiring, so it's in the Occasions catalog. You'll want to get it. And when I saw this, I mean, this gal, the Lazy Crafters Workshop, look at how stunning this is. I'm not even sure if it's really showing up, but this is all flat. It almost looks like three-dimensional, and I am definitely going to have to recreate this. Inside, she did do a technique sheet to show how this is done. But look, it's absolutely flat, but it just looks like three-dimensional. That's stunning. Love that one. And this is super cute. I don't know. What more can I say? It's super cute. I'm running out of words. Can you imagine 
me running out of words. I love this paper. I am going to want to stack, stock up on this paper because it's going to be retired and it's so, uh, it's, it's perfect. You don't have to do a whole lot with this if you want to create a quick card. And I'm not sure if the glare is catching it, but this is the um, Dazzling Dimers Glimmer Paper. So cut out with that framelit, the happy birthday. I mean, it's very nice, quick card, but really packs a punch. I'm so lucky to call you my friends. And thank you very much for swapping with me. I love the designer series paper on here. A classic little bow. The color on color. Stunning card. This one is very cute. I love the DSP and how the color is just brought in. Just very simple, classic. A note for you. Very cute. And this one too. Here's another idea for you. Simple. Very simple. Designer series paper. A little... Um, Stitch Framelit, have a beautiful birthday, and on your way you go. Hello friend, with the jar, and those that daisy punch, and that little embellishment on there. Very nice. And here's those daffodils again. And look at the background. I'm trying to, in, to figure what that was, if it was sponging. It's kind of hard to tell. I don't know, what do you think? Is it a stamp? I can't really tell. But I love it. Love the twine on there. Love the colors. And here's another one with that birthday. Um, with that, yeah, birthday. Yeah. <laughs> with the balloon stamp set. This one is up on dimensionals. Kind of give it a little pop there. Cute. All right, let's grab another stack, shall we? Okay, today we celebrate wonderful, brilliant, fabulous you. And I love the sequin background. That's the embossing folder. That's in the occasions along with the stamp and those little sequins. Cute. Live with passion. Laugh out loud. Love deeply. Very simple card, but very nice. And here's another card. I love this idea how they kept the center just kind of open and just stamped around it. I think that's a great technique, great idea. And look at these cute balloons. Celebrate you. There's those framelits again that were from Celebration. So if you have those, here's a great idea with the balloon punches. And who doesn't love this pig? She believes she could. Now these are um, a host stamp set. So they will also be retiring. But the pig will be coming back. But these little houses, they're in the back of the catalog. And with a uh, workshop. Oh, excuse me, I gotta get. Oh, I think I need to go to bed and it's still light out. I'm so sorry. Um, with the, I love the sponging of the cloud on the colored cardstock. I think it's really cute. But these little houses, you're gonna wanna check them out in the back of the catalog because they will be retiring. Oh, here's another one. This one with that butterfly. Again, retiring. I love the brush out on here. Very striking. And look at these cute little hedgehogs. They are in the Occasions catalog. Sending hedgehogs your way. Uh, aren't they just darling? How's that? That's better, darling. Yeah, that's a new one. Comfort and healing to you. Perfect for um, whether it's sympathy or just someone that just, you know, needs a little, almost like a virtual hug. Because did you know, and I've heard this, that sending a card to someone is like giving them a hug with a fold in the middle. I heard that years ago at a Stampin' Up! event, and I always think of it every time I send a card, to just, just because. And it's good to send cards just because. Another one, always thinking of you. Very classy, very plain, but packs a real punch there. And I love this technique. If you're not a coloring person, you don't like to color, stamp your design and use a, um, a stamp over the top in different colors and voila, colored, cute. This one is very striking. Um, love the ribbon, love the different kind of elements in this card, the, the black with the pop of color. I mean, you already know how I feel about that. And oh my goodness, look at how beautiful this card is. Oh, with the um, 
champagne um, paper and this is all embossed and the pearls best wishes beautiful card beautiful all right next how about this this is a full a file folder card I haven't seen one of these in a while and it just brings back the technique of doing it and she was nice enough to um, provide the recipe I love this idea you would put you could put a recipe card in there or just any kind of card all right we're coming down to the bottom I don't think I think I'm gonna have to do a part three because I still have a lot more in there here they use that embossing paste and um, I'm thinking it's the embossing paste. She didn't put on there, but if it, yes, that is definitely embossing paste that was colored. And the little window, the um, um, window, the frame, framelit for the window, and the template for this embossing paste is going to be retired, along with this little guy down here too. And he has, um, Designer Series Paper has a framelit to cut him out. So you'll want to check that out. This is stunning. A special note of thanks to you. It's just very, very classy. I love that. I'm like a, a very tailored type person. So to me, that really um, is my style. And this one is so cute. Um, it's a little, not really a card. Let me take it out. Sorry about the crinkling. Look at it has, um, whoops, has a little tea bag inside. And it's just like a little fold kind of um, a W fold on there with a little tea bag and isn't that super cute and yep she has the dimensions on here so this might be something I'm going to be recreating in an upcoming workshop hats off to you this is another stamp set that's going to be retiring um, with the um, the gentleman thing and the background it's just super classy for a classy guy I'm sure and the lemons and limes, I mean, love them. They will be returning. However, the DSP will be leaving us. So um, I love that design. I love the lemons. It just yells out summer. Look how stunning this is. She did such a fabulous job on this card with watercolor paper, brush out, and I love this mermaid. I'm so happy she's going to be coming back because I have played with her so many times. Oh, that didn't sound right. Um, I've created with her so many times, and I'm looking forward to even doing more. I love the little stars on here. Just to add a little bit of shimmer. All right, well, you know what happens. I'm almost near the end of this video, so um, I still have some more cards to share with you. So I'm going to stop right here, and I'm going to continue on with part three. So be sure to come on back real soon. Bye-bye for now.